Peter Benz is a Hungarian pianist who has amassed over a million subscribers on YouTube for doing covers of various songs. And a couple of years ago, he did a cover of the song Africa by Toto. And today, I'm going to react to it. So let's get into it. He's using a loop pedal. I think he's using the Boss RC300, which I actually have that exact one somewhere. I'll have to try and find it and maybe use it for something. Bose and Dorf is a very nice piano. Some of these are worth a lot of money. It's making me cringe a little bit seeing him hit the side of it. That's super cool. It's kind of something like that. It's such an iconic chord sequence. Oh, he's got some nice licks in there. Super cool. You can tell he must be like classically trained because he's kind of really expressive with what he brings out. And there's like a big dynamic range. So some of the notes he's really stressing and putting accents on. I don't know, he's just giving it a lot of character. It's quite nice. It would be nice if you did like a reharmonization of it so that it just adds something kind of very slightly different to the original. I don't know. It was interesting, that piano note was obviously reversed so I don't know whether that's done in post-production or whether he's doing it live I don't know how he would do it live and also you get a lot of contemporary music that use a lot of string plucking it definitely adds something when it's just kind of on its own like that He's looped the string plucking. Also, those are such great chords, aren't they? Such a great song. Super weird, but super interesting. Yeah, so it's still the same chords, which is like A, D, A, E, with the G sharp in the bass. This is what I meant with the reharmonization, where I said it needed something like different. It draws you in because you know what it is, but you also don't know what it is. in his trills. I can feel him wanting to go into the blue scale. Every song should have a piano solo. He 
must have put so much effort into making sure the mics were in the right place because it must be hard to get all these natural sounds of him hitting the piano or like dampening the strings and things and getting it to sound when it's played back to him and to us like it did when he originally played it because a lot of the time you can mic something up and you can make a noise and to your ears it sounds one way but then once it's recorded and played back to you it sounds another way It's really cool because on a piano you normally don't get all these different textures and all these different sounds that he's bringing to it. He's really thought about how to construct the song as like a piece of art rather than just trying to do a piano cover of it. really cool it just shows piano is the best instrument and everyone should learn it so go and do that but before you do if you want to see me react to another cool piano song then check out this video of Ethan Bortnick and I will see you there